Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, obviously by the title of this video, you guys are gonna see a week in my nail life and everything that I do to run Cork Manicures Instagram and YouTube. So if you have not watched one of my videos before, hi, I'm Kayla. I have an Instagram that is linked down below. I just post nail swatches, sometimes nail art, if I can um, make it work and make it look good. Um, I just wanted to share this video with you because I feel like a lot of people don't understand, um, one, everything that goes into creating all of this content and also just how I create a bunch of things. So I wanted to share what I go through typically in a week with you guys and I hope that you enjoy that. I do already have a video up from last winter about how I like plan my content for Instagram and YouTube. Um, and kind of how I like set everything up so then weeks like this I can just go through and knock out everything I had already planned. Um, so I'll link that video but I will also do another one of those if you guys are interested in that just let me know. At the end of each day I'll put up a card that shows like how I broke up my time and how long I spent and then at the end of the video we will talk about how long it took me to do everything that I do. So on Sundays, um, I start my weeks on Sundays, I don't, some people don't, but on Sundays is the start of my week and typically um, I do a lot on Sundays because I don't have like work or make plans really. So Sunday is like my bulk day of getting a lot done and typically that's when I will batch like my YouTube content. So I will spend anywhere, um, any amount of time doing like three to five videos just depending on what I need and then that will cover content for a week or a week and a half maybe. Um, so I try to get all of that done and then throughout the week I will just edit as needed. Um, so yeah, Sundays are really big filming days for me. But typically by Sunday I need to do a little bit of cleanup so I'll just kind of go through and pick up any loose polishes, swatch sticks, anything like that before I start filming because I like to obviously have like a clean space to work in, especially if I'm pulling any polishes for the videos. Like I want to have kind of a clean slate because I know some videos I can end up pulling like 20 polishes to talk about. So after I clean up, I kind of plan my filming just based on like how my day is going to go. So if I know I'm doing a video where I'm painting my nails, I might do that before a video where I'm talking. It really just depends on kind of the flow of my day. But I spent the next few hours just filming a couple videos. And then it was time to do some maintenance on my nail because I was filming again um, after this to do some nail art and I wanted my nails to obviously like look nice and be ready for the nail art. So I spent some time doing a little bit of maintenance on my nails, just filing, cleaning up the cuticles and all of that. And then I needed to do some video planning. So I was planning for the other filming that I was going to be doing that day and I was um, making sure that like the cameras and everything were going to be good because I was filming this like week in my life so I had another camera. So it was like a whole nother setup to make sure that all of that was looking okay. And then I spent some time on Instagram. Um, I can't quite remember what I was doing but I tried to only record the time where I was like posting or doing something on my stories or commenting or something. I didn't <laughs> include all the time where I just scroll through my phone. But I spent some time on Instagram just kind of catching things up from the weekend and commenting and posting and all of that. And by this time my back and body really starts to hurt so typically I will lay on the ground for a little bit and stretch. And then by the end of the day, this is kind of what my phone looks like. So I will have to go through and unload all the content. Usually it's just on my phone, but like I said, I had an additional camera this week. So I had to take everything off the camera, my phone, and make sure all of the pictures and everything were put where they needed to be for editing. You can't leave like days and days of stuff on your phone or it will just kind of like max out the space. So you have to kind of offload things as you go.
So moving into Monday, typically on Monday I kind of do something that's a little bit more mindless, which is swatches. So in the morning I just try to get as much swatches as I can done before I go into work. I do have my light and everything linked down below and then I'm just using scrapbook paper and like an Ikea table and that's kind of like where I take my pictures. And then Monday is a posting day for my YouTube, so I usually edit in the afternoon, kind of like on my lunch or before work if I have time. So I needed to spend some time editing the video that needed to go up. And then again, I do post on Instagram and do stories and stuff, so I spent a little bit of time on Instagram. Um, not as much as other days because once it gets into like the weekdays, I don't spend as much time on Instagram. And then I did end up painting my nails Monday, so I did a bunch of like the maintenance and everything Sunday, and then Monday I just painted my nails, so that took just a little bit of time. And then again, I had those swatches, so I needed to kind of unload that content and go through and delete ones I didn't like and things like that. And I did end up editing some of the photos that I took on Monday, so I used Snapseed to edit my pictures, and for the most part I will just like crop them, I'll do a little bit of tuning, and then I put in my watermark. But other than that, I don't do a ton of, like, swatch editing. So moving into Tuesday, I don't have a whole lot on Tuesdays. Um, I really just kind of like edit or be on Instagram or something like that. Um, I do a lot of planning on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I don't have a YouTube video going up to edit. So I'll go through my calendar, make sure everything is ready for the week and like look and see if there's anything that I missed or forgot about doing. And then Wednesday, there was a video that I didn't get to over the weekend, so I ended up just filming it Wednesday morning. Um, and then after I filmed that video, like I said, you really have to move over that content. So I did a little bit of cleaning in my room, um, just putting away things that I had used from the filming, and then I had to go through and edit the content. So I was filming that video to go up that day, I think, or maybe the next couple of days. So I moved over a bunch of content and made some thumbnails. I use um, Canva to make all of my thumbnails. So I was just putting all the pictures where they needed to be. And then I ended up editing the video that needed to go up. And then at the end of the day, I had a lot of those swatches from the weekend that I needed to kind of put in captions for. I really try to keep up on my captions because that just takes so much more time if I have to post right then and do the whole caption. So I use preview to kind of go through and like type out my captions and then I'll put them into um, into Instagram like the day of when it's supposed to be posted. So it's kind of like a scheduler, but it doesn't actually post it for you. You just copy the caption in and then post it. But I really like preview because if I'm on it, then I don't have to worry about captions every single post. So again, Thursday is kind of like a lighter day because I don't have to edit, so I um, didn't spend a ton of time on things, but I did have to post a few new things because that was the first day of October. So I posted my like money tracker thing. It's um, from Emma, Emma's Pans, and then Kat Uses Makeup, but they have like this really cute little... Um, like spending tracker for each month. I started in September So I obviously wanted to start again in October because I had a lot of fun with it. So I posted that and then um, I had started a template for like moisturizing in October because it's gonna start getting cold and I know that I'm really bad at moisturizing So I wanted to post that template for everyone to start using 
So I spent a little bit more time on Instagram for Thursday. And then the other thing that I ended up doing is um, a lot of sweatshirt planning. So I wore a sweatshirt a few videos back and you guys were really interested in it. So I'm trying to make that work to where I can sell those for you guys, but it does take kind of a lot to make sure that it's profitable and I can ship it properly and have all the materials and everything. So I spent a little bit of time on Thursday just planning and playing around with that. So once again, Friday is a posting day, so I had some editing to do. Um, and then I also did a manicure and pedicure for the weekend. So I included that in my time because a lot of you guys were like, how often do you do your nails? How long does it take you to do your nails? Um, so I just wanted to include that and let you guys know like how that breaks down. And then after work, by the end of Friday, I have a lot to clean up. Um, just incoming stuff from the week or packages or all that stuff that I have gotten So I spent some time cleaning up my space and adding polishes to my master polish list and just really getting everything like <laughs> Put away and ready for me to mess it up all over again for the weekend And I actually bought this little thing off of Amazon to kind of like deal with all of it It's just like one of the little spinner things and it has a bunch of different um, compartments in it so I have stuff that needs to be just like put away. I have upcoming swatches. Um, I have like stuff that's been gifted. So anything that is incoming kind of stays here for a minute. So if I have not made the swatch stick, it goes into the gifted containers. If I've made the swatch stick, um, it goes over into this bin that is called unlisted and these things have a swatch but they still need to be put on to my main polish like list because I'm really trying to keep track of everything that is coming in. So basically things come in, I'll put them in gifted to keep them kind of off my table and everything. Once I've made the swatch stick, I'll move it over to unlisted if I don't have time to add it to my main polish list. And then after that, it kind of either gets put into go backs if I'm really busy or all of the swatches get put on here and then they get put into their respective drawer. And my mom was actually coming over that weekend. So we ended up going to Joann's to do more sweatshirt planning. Um, so I spent a little bit of time at the actual store, just kind of looking at measurements and figuring out packaging and all of that. And then I ended up spending some time once we got back like looking through shipping options and all of those things. And then I ended up spending a little bit of time on Instagram because I had some videos that I was filming. So I needed to post like some polls on Instagram so that I could film the video that I needed. So I spent a little bit of time on there kind of just posting stories and um, posting content and things like that. And to end the evening, I was, it's not like work because I was filming for a vlog, but I was just doing try on haul to see what clothes my mom liked from my Kohl's haul, which will be in a vlog that's coming up. But I did have to set up the camera and film everything for that vlog. So I did include filming that. Um, and then I also obviously had to take all of that content off and put it in its respective folder so that I can edit it later. And then Saturday. So Saturdays kind of fluctuate depending on what plans we have. I really try to make sure that I don't put a lot on Saturday because typically that's when plans just like pop up and I don't like not being able to work on things if I put them on my to-do list. So I just kind of like go with the flow on Saturday. So unfortunately I don't have any footage to show you of what I did, except for I do have my little Saturday shares. Every Saturday before I even get out of bed, I'll try really hard to go through and do my Saturday shares and that's just where I pick out manicures that I've seen recently or that I like and post them. Sometimes they have a theme, sometimes not, but so that's what I did Saturday morning. And then for the rest of Saturday, I was filming a vlog again. So my mom and I were running around doing errands. And again, like it's not necessarily that I had so much to do. I spent all of this time, but I did have to take out the camera and we paused for certain things and we moved for certain things. And it's just, it, it, it's a lot, it takes up time during the day. So I did include some of the time 
that I spent vlogging for Saturday and then um, once my mom left I actually edited that whole vlog and posted it that day so I was really happy and proud about that but it did add some editing time to Saturday and then um, I also did some like prototype making for my sweatshirts and t-shirts on Saturday as well so that was another few hours of making sure that I'm producing something that you guys one will like and two is worth the money so I'm really trying to spend some time on this and make sure that you guys like it so that was a lot of time this week and then at the end of the day I actually still had some energy left so I started planning some swatches um, not swatches some nail art that I'm gonna be doing at the end of the month I haven't planned it at all so I really need to work on that but I started planning out some um, nail art looks and I only got through one but it looks really cute so I spent some time on the end of the day Saturday working on that So that is a week in my nail life. I wasn't trying to make this video to be like, oh my God, look at all the things that I do and all the work and all of that. It was more just like one to kind of help you guys if you've ever been interested in all of that. Um, but also just to kind of be like, I spend a lot of time on this. Like it, it's one, it's something I really enjoy. It's like a hobby of mine, but also if I do something, like I want to do it. Like I want it to be good or interesting or worth it for someone to look at it so I try to make sure that whatever I'm making or putting out or working on to the best of my ability and my knowledge is decent enough um so I just kind of wanted to show that and I felt like it would be interesting um I do vlogs on my channel like my like personal life but I felt like it would be fun for you guys to see everything I do in a week specifically for my cork things and if you have been tallying on the way um, through this whole video you would know that I spend 26 hours and 45 minutes a week ish on average doing nail things um, obviously like the sweatshirt planning and stuff wasn't or isn't something that I do every week this is just something for this week but putting that time towards that means that i'm now behind on my nail art for my halloween like horror nail art week so there's always something so if i wasn't doing the sweatshirts i would then be kind of caught up on my um like nail art so there's always something but i would say that genuinely probably 25 hours a week is about average of what I do spend. Um, especially if it's like uh, the beginning of a season. Um, I spend probably an entire day close to 10-ish hours planning when it's the first like big plan of a season. I pull all the polishes that you guys see here. I make swatches and all of that. So that does take a lot of time. Um, that just wasn't part of this week if you guys want me to do another like how I plan my content day let me know I will definitely film that it's one of my favorite days when I plan my content I really like showing that and like everything that um, I get to start working on because it's obviously a hobby it's one of my favorite things I do like to do all of this um, but it is time-consuming and now that I am monetized on YouTube this is kind of like a quarter time job I don't want to say part-time because some of the things that I do aren't necessarily part of that money making um, but to make this a viable option of some income I do have to kind of treat it like a job and I mean I'm working job hours so I don't know I hope that you guys enjoyed I did just want to share this with you and um, I can do more of these if you want it was a lot of work I'm not gonna lie remembering to set up the camera and put it in place and make sure I had different angles because I use my phone to actually film so I needed an additional camera to kind of like show me filming if that makes sense um, and the editing has been a lot. I did put up a poll on my Instagram to ask you guys how much like you thought um, I spend and majority of you guys are almost kind of right as of right now. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and 
I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.